All right. Well, I think we're going to break this this siege. Do we need to talk to Khalid first, though? I think we do. Yes. Okay. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Because we... Have a quick look through here. We've got a lot of bad guys. A couple of wizards here. Oh, hello there. Two together. Are they having a speech or something? So I did it. Here in a camp, laying siege on Amity Fort. I don't believe it. Idle hands do our enemies work. You have to look at a seasoned combatant. Go assist Lieutenant Calm in training those less fortunate than yourselves. Have to survive the coming trials. Okay. Hmm. Calm. There he is. What is it? Ah, oh, yeah, no. Dismissed. Let's talk to Khalid first. While I think about ways to work this siege to our advantage. They're all pretty condensed in there. It would be good to kind of gas. If I can get them to follow me out, web the place shut, and then gas. Although Kelly is going to want to probably come out through the gates, knowing him. Anyway. I'm still thinking. Ideas abound. Hey, Kelly. My friend, you return. Um, we could always surrender. I'm kind of curious to see how that would look. That would be interesting. Hmm. I think, honestly, yeah, nah, we're going to fight them. Mm, I'll go alert the Flaming Fist. Uh, yeah, we're going to prepare a bit first. Firstly, I think we need different spells. There's a lot of bad guys in there, and I think we need to be doing more damage. Mm, how is this Sunfire for damage? 15d6. What mage level are we? 12. So 12d6 versus... What was I up to? Cloud kill is an instant kill, but it's pretty low damage. It's constant. So this combined with web is just brutal. And it shuts down spellcasters like nothing else. So let's um, pop that in. I'll keep a spell deflection up just in case. And a breach... Would be handy. Yeah, let's keep breach. Do we have a way to break through spellcasters? Occasionally, one of them's going to break through, so maybe that might be useful. I could lose a spell here. Uh, no, I think we'll be fine. Cloud kill's good. Uh, no point having that. We've got the. I mean, it's a good spell, but it's not everything. One way to break through defenses that'll be handy. More webs. I want, I want to keep our defenses tight, though. There's a lot of incoming fire. Okay. I think we're good. Let's have a nap. And let's see if we can break that siege on our own. I think we can. We're pretty tough. Well, it just depends how... Well, first things first, traps. Let's see if we can't take out those mages. Because if we can disable the mages, that'll be a huge help. Let's just count the mages first. None of these seem to be mages. Some of them have blunt weapons, so he could be a cleric. But we don't really know. So, good Delgar. Oh, we could let the trolls out. Who let the trolls out? And Dawn. Vichand. That's a mage. Oh, they've moved. They were all in a big cluster before. Okay, Hormon. That's a cleric of some sort. Maybe a cleric mage. Well, that's two I could take out here. If I put enough traps down here, I think I can get them both. Or is it worth trying to pull them out? Like a line of traps staggered out. Uh, they'll, they'll just wear it. Okay, enough yakking. 
Let's put traps down. We need to knock these guys out as best we can, so let's do that. Good hits there. I think we'll put one more down. That should be enough to take out a mage. That's a lot of damage right there. In through here, this is lots of arrows and things, but nothing on its own to worry about. Vichand. I think I'll start the fight by backstabbing him, so maybe one trap here, just to make sure it's quick and lethal. Now I think we're going to use the rest of these to disable large groups. One here. We might even be able to shut this group down here, so let's drop that one here. Okay. Let's see if we can't take out Vichand as fast as possible. Um, oh, can we get some skull traps happening? Not really. We'll just hurl them in once they're all clustered up anyway. Okay. Don't mind us, we're just going to do some buffing. Mortis Cario. Visibility. Spell deflection. And let's give ourselves some haste as well. Oh no. I'm going to quick load that. <laughs> I really want that to hit. Um, let's pop this as well, actually. That means targeted attacks can't get us. Critical miss, again? Are we cursed? Now we're talking. Let's see if we can't get this open. Do I open the cages? You freed me from my cage, and that is no small thing. I'll forgive your insolence this time. When we meet again at this camp you speak of, do not be so imprudent as to try and command me again. Sure. I have opened these cages. How do I open them? Okay, well, we killed that mage without causing incident, it would seem. Cool. Okay. Um, let's go take out a mage up here. This is definitely going to cause a fuss, though. So maybe we... No. Let's... Web here. Ring. He had some good loot on him. Wonder fire, make good use of that. And what are these? Bullets of ice. Well, we'll make good use of this right now. I only got two charges. danger zone here. Break out. I don't want to get walled up though, that's the problem here. This is a, not a good spot to be in. Let's pull out. Let's get ourselves out of here. Hello there. Oh. Not good. Can we get out? Yes we can. Okay, let's fight them here. Web, right here. Not 
the cloud kill spell up here, I think. Let's switch to the bow. Let's see who we can take out quickly. Looking for the word badly. Perfect. Let's see if we can pull them out so they don't. In fact, let you guys deplete the battle as much as possible. We'll come back soon. Let's use our arrows to try and support them. See if we can get through. Oh, this is a bit messy. They're all taking our poison damage, that's the problem. Luckily, we aren't getting blamed for their death. Come on, push through, Aiden. Going pretty well so far. Stone skin. We'll switch to this guy. The acid will get through. Yeah, beautiful. He's taking the good damage now. We switch back to the bow. That's how it's done. It wasn't too bad, was it? Okay, let's have a look. Aiden, Corporal Duncan sent me. The Crusades falling back and they're placing barrels like those that destroyed the coastway across the Borskir Bridge. If that bridge blows, we'll never reach Dragonspear Castle in time. We need to head west quickly, stop the Crusade, for they obliterate our only way over the winding water. Quick loot run, Wonder Frost, always like that. These are a great scroll actually, they do a lot of really high point damage. So I think we'll pack it away and never use it. Sound good? Don't know what that is, I think it's a staff of, um, a staff that does piercing damage, but there's like, I think only one edge case where that's even desirable. It's like, I think it's like one enemy which is immune to um, bludgeoning weapons and requires a slashing weapon. Okay, we've cleared the decks a bit. I'll get rid of this then. Do I need it still? We'll see if we do. Okay, quick save successful. Let's go and clear out all of this that's happening in here. Oh, explosive barrels. I wonder if they will trigger. You there, get back away from the bridge. None but the followers of light shall pass. We're under attack. Blow the barrels now. Damn it to hells. I'm trying. Hold them off. I need more time to finish the summoning. Okay. Are we going to have trouble? That's a mirror image. Normal weapons. That's fine. We can get through all of that. 
I don't want to use a fire ability here because that might set off the barrels. See if we can... First things first. Let's slow all of these guys. No more traps. Let's see if we can increase our speed. I suspect we'll have to move fast here. One of them's a mage as well. Let's see if we can avoid being targeted. Oh, that's not good. The portal is open. Everyone run as fast as you can. There's not much time before the creatures of fire set the barrels ablaze. I don't like this. Oh no, they're running. We are too then. Can I batter my way through? Um, or am I stopping them here? Okay, idea. There's a portal. Creatures of fire. We're in a bad spot here if they go to attack us. That's all I'm thinking. Oh, wow. That fire got through, did it? Ah, oh, no, we're out of here. That's gonna go. I don't think we have a way of stopping that from happening. We took out a whole heap of them. I'm not entirely sure what they want us to, to accomplish here. Attacking the barrels. Okay. Uh, this is not good. Whoa! Okay, so we're scripted to die if that happens. Yeah, look at the damage numbers. Okay, so we're not supposed to get past that. We're supposed to do something. anything in here about what we have to do? I'm sure there's a pretty clear and obvious solution here, but... Protection from weapons, mirror imaged. Are we hastened? No, we're not. Let's reload. Ensure that we're hastened. Because we're going to have to put a lot of fire on that wizard to stop her from opening that portal, I think. So that's fine. Let's actually go in, detecting traps. We might be able to break through. So that's the way we can break through. Can I breach? Okay, you know what? Let's shut down your spell casting. Did it break a spell? It did not. Oh, whoops. Okay. Okay, so we got to be careful with this. Okay, it's a problem. It's a puzzle. This is what this is. It's a puzzle. Let's see if we can't not hit the barrels, but just but kill the mage. Well, that killed most of them. That's good. Uh, let's just switch to bow. Make sure we kill this guy. They're just running through. Do we? Are we supposed to just push through? Or run through a portal or something? Are we supposed to stop these? Because I don't see how we do. How? 
How am I to stop this many? I think I'm supposed to just run away as fast as possible. I can't run through here, can I? No. It's too many to kill straight away. They're attacking the barrels. What happens if we just straight up run? We sprint. Khalid. Yes? Well, what do you need from me? There's a lot more going on right now. Oh, we're having a chat, aren't we? Oh, God, you're joking. Okay, okay. Um, we you, will my friend. get you... We have to take the opportunity to show our affection when we can. Running None away. of us will live forever. Running away can't be the goal, right? Uh, what you want. Let's try it. Let's sit way back here and see what happens. Yeah, my thinking is we get blown up. <sighs> Do we need to somehow keep ourselves with more spells so that we can survive this encounter? Or are we kind of soft locked here? Can we sleep? No. We're not resting in this place. But maybe we can rest in here. Aha! Okay, we just slept for 16 hours. So, immersion is slightly marked. Oh, I should have used a protection from fire scroll. In fact, I have one of those. That'll really help me once we get in close with the bad guys. Um, we'll take off. I got invisible. Oh, yeah. And into invisibility. I've forgotten what I've what I've actually loaded here. Okay. Let's try it this way. See if we can't drop a stack of traps all through here. One. Two. Three. Oh, we only got all of them then. Let's do that. Let's see if we can break somewhere from casting the mage is almost dead. Gotta get that mage. Kill the mage. There she is. Still not dead. Alright, web it is. That'll freeze everything that comes out of there in place. Okay. How do I breach this, this spell here? Ha 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 Looks like we got him. Couple here. There's nothing we can do. Oh, we got webbed. Well, there's a chance we will get unwebbed, and then we can put the ring on. <laughs> or can I get just to the outside of there? No, put the ring on. Well, that's the mage we took out. Just killed him before the, the uh, portal could be opened. One more. Looking good. Okay. 
Benz. I'll give credit where it's due. You did well here today. It was a bloody business that would have been bloodier still were it not for you. We did it underneath a statue of Baal, just up here, above the screen. So, yeah. Aiden. Tell me, were things here interesting? Things at camp were dull, dull, dull. Corporal Duncan absolutely refused to let me out of it. Hmm. Surprised he can stop you. If you could see your way clear to not encourage insubordination in the ranks, I'd appreciate it. We've done well here. Hopefully our luck holds until we reach Dragonspear. Lead the way across the bridge. The rest of us will follow. It's a bit webbed right now. Alright, what stuff are we picking up here? Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the scroll. They've got to make these drop into some bag. Start Darts of Stunning. Battle Mage. Cool. Alright, Khalid. What have we got? Always grab those. Always grab those. Yes? Well, what do you need from me? Hmm. Oh. We just recruited him by accident. What level is he currently? Seven. Ah, oh, Khalid. I feel rough not having him in the party. Yeah, first thing we do is put those on him every time. Cloak of the Wolf. I honestly can't. I mean, I've, I've had him in my party since I was just a kid. He's a friend. It makes it all the harder to tell him to leave, but different kind of run. Besides, he did well here. What would you have me do? Return turn to the camp. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Scout. No. Order is what matters. Let's do a bit of a raid around here so we can find. Landro. Whoa. Oh yeah, the mages are up here. They were that was some good trade up here. Let's just get rid of these for selling. That's for selling as well. More boom booms. Nothing here is there, but up here I saw something. Visibility. Magical halberd. A key. Drawbridge key. This axe looks pretty sweet. Chill axe plus two. Two percent chance you'll go berserk though. Less of an issue when you're on a solo run, but still we don't use axes. Halberd plus two. Always hard to find a good halberd, isn't it? I think we can lose this scroll. Okay. The hero, the hero. Uh, is there anything else here we wanted? No, let's have a run around. Anything here? I think we just roll on, don't we? Sergeant Dugraff. We're more than mercenaries. Hell yeah. Just a girdle of piercing. Actually, I prefer them in some ways. Rancor plus one. In some ways, like slashing damage is is less of an issue than piercing damage. Actually, what's our armor class for each as it is? Armor class versus combat stats. Armor class. Minus two versus missile. So I think... Ah, oh, we'll grab this. Arrows are the big problem anyway. We shouldn't be up close with things if we can help it anyway. Large shield. I think the, that big guy had that. This sword is... Dawn sword. Hmm. Fair enough. Sword plus one, but it becomes a plus two if that's just plus two with more with extra steps. We'll leave this here on the ground negligently. Troll tender's journal and a bottle of wine. Hmm. Okay, well, that's all good and well, but 
I think we'll just ditch that. Okay, well without all that done, let's roll and I guess. It's a bit anticlimactic, wasn't it? Kind of just ended. Alright, well, onward and onward. Ah. Uh, ascending aortic aneurysm. And that's the end of Aiden. Baal and Siric. Hmm. You feel it, do you not? Something has changed. Your tenuous connection to the essence within you has been rewoven and reinforced, if not necessarily refined. An impressive achievement. Even if you yet lack the control necessary to bring your abilities to their full flower. Hmm. <laughs> you again. What is your role in all of this, Hooded One? What do you hope to accomplish? I am here to bear witness to what comes to pass, nothing more. Yeah, for now. A dead god's blood lingers long. There are remnants of your father's power here, even now. I am not surprised something was awoken within you. Tell me, what did you see? Hmm. I know who he is. You can't seriously expect me to relate the details of a near religious epiphany to a stranger. I am not your enemy. For now, our paths are intertwined and follow the same course. You need not fear me. That's not true. Ball had many enemies. Knowing this did not empower him to the extent that he could avoid his demise, but it did allow him to plan for it. He lives on through you and your brethren. You sense his whispers even now, quiet and insidious. They will grow ever stronger. His demands will become screams that drown out all else. You lack direction. You drift along your path, neither asserting your strength nor taking that which you deserve. I expected more from you. We killed a dragon, dude. Also, <laughs> I'm pretty sure a boss of mine, a manager, told me this when I was very young. You lack direction. You drift along your path. You must know by now that nothing you do escapes my sight. I know your past. I watch your present. Thus, I know your future. It was written in your blood long ago. If you know my future... Hmm... Who are you who knows so much of my blood? Uh... Baal's divine blood may th flow through my veins, but I am no mindless thrall. Perhaps, perhaps not. For the moment, you serve your father's will merely by surviving. You are not like the sheep you walk amongst. They distract you with their bleating whine. You have a purpose far beyond theirs, if you have strength enough to grasp it. Most go about their days unawares, Blind to the truths around them, pushed and pulled by forces beyond their understanding. Control is what sets us apart from the animals scrabbling through the dirt. We must be masters of our lives, of whatever resources we have to bear, bending them to our will. You will learn this in time. Hmm. That's true. But not in the twisted way you mean it. Kayla Argent has but the tiniest portion of divine essence. 
Yet she has boldly claimed her birthright and taken control of her destiny. You have half a god flowing through your veins, and yet you stumble your way toward your destiny as if blind. Spread your wings, feel their power. Let this test you. If you are lucky, if you do well, further tests will come. Perhaps, eventually, you will learn what you need to soar. He's right here. Ah, oh, it's actually kind of beautiful hearing that voice actor, David Warner again. He's left our world, so it's like a massive nostalgia bomb, really. You know, a lot of people said they didn't like Dragon Spear, but this is pretty. I don't know. It's impactful. It, it it's bold trying to write a story within two stories, two well loved stories, but this is good so far. As for this one, well, we're spreading our wings. So, uh, graffiti? Should we not... Should we not tell someone about this? Hmm. So that would be Cyric. A mammoth statue of Styric. Of Styric. Of Styric. A mammoth statue of Cyric stands at the north end of Borskia Bridge. His arm is outstretched, reaching for the giant stone figure that glares accusingly at him from across the bridge's southern side. This towering statue of Baal, the dead lord of murder, glares across the length of Borskia Bridge at an equally imposing stone likeness of Cyric, the mad god that killed him. Is it just me or did Baal have an arm missing as well? Kava. What you looking at? Hold for a moment. I want to talk to you. Farl and I got our loot out of the fort. Here's a little something for helping us out. We're moving on now. Maybe we'll cross paths again someday. Thanks, Carver. Bye. 300 gold. And a wooden bucket swings from a rope that's been tied around an old well's winch. A wooden bucket swings from a rope. Okay, yep. Yeah. Put an item in the well. Throw 25 pieces. We got blessed. I'm kind of curious what we throw in, though. We should really be wearing these. No. Let's just fill our inventory with items that we're not going to use. So that way we hopefully don't throw anything too nasty or too important. of not so important darts are not so important oh big sneeze coming I'm not sure there's anything I can do about it so <coughs> oh pardon me sorry about that oh god I mean I could always learn to you know put an item in the well Well, spirit. Ouch. Did you throw a weapon at me? Is this a challenge? It was an accident, I assure you. Can I drink you? No more words. Your trespass must be punished. Okay. Break away. Let's give ourselves some distance. Let's see how you handle these. Mace, plus one. 
Get a bit of, bit of experience. How are we doing? Getting closer and closer to greatness. Put in one gold piece. Put in a hundred gold pieces. Leave the world alone. Okay, well that was fun. This one had a ball. Did that ring anything actually? Thinking. There we go. Okay. I think we're out of here. Let's just keep the plot going. Maybe a quick rest before we go. Have our spells back. The Coalition Camp and then Dragon Spear. Let's do it. 336 hours. of the Crusade's recent presence can be seen on the road to Dragonspear Castle, but the Shining Lady's actual servants are rarely encountered. The few Crusaders you spy in the distance invariably retreat at the first opportunity. As the march wears on, fatigue grips your company, tempers flare within the caravan. Your reputation as the hero of Baldur's Gate protects you from petty squabbles and angry outbursts, or perhaps, after what happened on Boriskir Bridge, there is another reason few are willing to cross you. These thoughts are put aside when you see the banners of Waterdeep, Daggerford, and the Flaming Fist at the edge of the Coalition siege camp. Dragonspear Castle is near, and so is Kalar's Day of Reckoning. Hell yeah. Why does he still refuse me? How can he deny the righteousness of our cause? Hmm. We speak of a child of Baal. And yet the Baal spawn is the hero of Baldur's Gate, and by all accounts saved the Sword Coast from ruin during the Iron Crisis. You cannot ask me to show mercy to this abomination, not after what happened to my brother. For the good of the Crusade, you must. We cannot take the Baal spawn's life. Forgive me, my lady. I do not know if I can do that. You can. I have faith in you, Ashatil. For us, forgiveness must prevail over revenge. Hmm. Finally, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, please skip the formalities and go straight to complaining about trivial trivialities. Yeah, let's say it. And that would make you the so-called hero of Baldur's Gate. The stories of your glib tongue were no exaggeration. Yeah, see, well, we've had an alignment change, and we're loving it. I'm Kirill Netterlock, Marshal of the Burnstone Cadre. I command the Flaming Fist contingent of the Dragon Spear Campaign. Where is Kayla? I would say this matter finished. You and me both. For the moment, she's safe behind Dragonspear's walls. I've been arguing for a full assault for days. The Water Davian commander, Torsen Delancey, has been holding us back and using you as an excuse. He's insisting on delaying any push into Dragonspear until reinforcements arrived. Now that you're here, well, he'll probably think of some other excuse not to act. He has a talent for that. <laughs> Sassy. Go get settled in now. After you've done that, come see me and the other city commanders at the large tent south of here. Now, what a Davian. That's kind of like, um... I remember them from Neverwinter Nights. We'll show the crusade, right? Okay. Corwin, how are you doing? What do you need? No. Oh. Well, that's all very rude. I don't want to be rude, so we're going to be less than rude. Okay. Having an archer in the party is pretty cool. Her bow is super cool. That's That would be great for a solo run, but of course only she can wield it. Plus three damage as well. That's... It's not easy to find a bow that does plus three. 
Well, mind focusing. Hmm. Yeah, very cool. Oh well, I'll grab your arrows plus two. Cannot give item inventory full. Yes, it is. That makes sense. And yes, it's bothering me as well that we have our little buddy here in the wrong spot, but that's okay. Let's tell... I mean, her... She's level 6. And archers are cool. Part of me considered playing a, an archer, but... Yeah. You sure you don't want me with you? The Grand Duke's told me to stay close. Yep. Thank you. Uh, Glint, how are you doing? Hmm, yes, that should... To it? What? Nah, oh, not in the mood. I didn't see you there. Well, oh, who goes there? How about you say that to people who are outside the barricade? Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> a little drink yesterday evening turned into a lot of drinks early this morning. I'm, uh, I'm not in the best shape right now. Uh, what's wrong? But I don't want to waste your time with my sorrows. I, I know you're an important person. You can tell me. What is it? It's... Ah, this is gonna sound so, so... Ah, hells. It's me lucky charm. A pebble from Mithril Hall. I lost it somewhere on the march here. Oh, I've had the most terrible luck since I realized it was gone. I lost it, cards. Spilled a full mug of ale in my beard. Probably die in battle now, the way things are going. Yeah, probably. It's just so... Wait. The other thing that went wrong is I got a hole in one of me boots. My patron god is Martha Merduin. His symbol is a boot with a mace against it. Maybe if I get some fancy new boots, my luck will change back. That's the most sensible thing I've heard in a 10 day. Something has clearly gone very, very wrong in my life. I'm telling you, this'll do it. I just need some good leather, and then maybe that quartermaster, Belagarm, will order. I heard a bear's been sighted around Dead Man's Pass, but I can't leave my post. Bring the bear's hide to Belagarm and get me some new boots. Go barefoot. We do. Yeah, right, let's do it. I know you're an important person with lots of things to do, but if you manage this, you'll have a loyal friend forever. God. Any of these people important? Let's have a quick look through. Daggerford. We're few, but fierce. What Davians? The fair folk rarely have time for small talk. Oh. Wise Arbor. Your acquaintance I am glad to have made. Greetings, my lord. In the market for a new weapon, or perhaps a potion? Let's see what you have. Sounds interesting. What do you have? Sure. A ring, a battle standard, a token. Oh, God. A battle standard. Why are we doing this? A map. And a holy symbol. Okay, well, what items do you have for the... F uh, swords. Scimitars, plus two. Arrows of anti-magic. We should grab a couple of these. Oh, we could have used them, couldn't we? <laughs> I can buy ten of them. But they, that might be what I do. Sunstone bullet. Mm hmm. Hmm. Spell casting not disabled. It's a bardic. Okay. Bard armor. Fair enough. We don't have much money, do we? Danger sense. Hmm. That's an interesting one. Wouldn't work for us here. More slashing damage. That alone would be pretty good, actually. 
Imagine a critical with that. But. Oh, wow. Yep. Okay, some good things here. These look interesting. Move silently. Immune to web entangle grease. But we've got a ring that does it anyway, so probably not. Let's sell some of this. Mm, keep that one. Potions. We just never use the oils of speed, do we? There's always a better option, really. Nah, we'll keep them. Just have to just have to be less stingy. Arrows we're not going to use. Might be a second here. We'll sell all this, make a bit of money. Darts of stunning. Darts of ice. And how are we doing for arrows of anti-magic? Five. Yeah, let's buy ourselves a couple more. Ooh, the black black whacker. Renders the target unconscious for two rounds when a backstab is performed. Huh. I quite like the idea of that. It's a plus two, plus two. It's a good weapon. They save us death in the gates. Hmm. Cool idea, though. And arrows of dispelling. Arrows of detonation. Should remember we have those. Well, hopefully I remember to use them. Okay. Uh, anything else through here? Mazina and Voglin. Oh, okay. We're stealing items from around here. As a priestess, would you know much about different religions, correct? The holy symbols, for example. There's a tiresome priest in the triage camp, who I would know more about that. About the Red Knight. What are you up to? It's a long story and a boring one. Okay. Let's see if we can find him. Nope. Jahira. Oh, let's talk to Khalid for a second. Yes? Well, what do you need from me? Hmm. Okay, let's read this one properly. So, it's Khalid and Jahira's anniversary. And I want to give Jahira a gift. Find me silk from a giant spider. <laughs> hmm. When Jahira and I met, I never left the city before, never been out in the wilderness. Jahira was horrified about how little I knew about nature. She showed me how to follow animal tracks, identify plants. She showed me a trick for curing spider silk. If I can get some, I can turn it into a beautiful sparkling thread to weave her a necklace from. Aww. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. We have to t take the opportunity to show our affection when we can. None of us will live forever. <sighs> Tempest takes 15 emotional damage. <laughs> Foul. What are you looking at? I don't like being looked at in general, or specific. Do you this and that to be done, no time to stay and chatter. Not easy. Okay. I don't really want to be mucking around all this sort of stuff. Here we go. Let's talk to these guys. General Stonehand. You gutless worm, what gives you the right to tell me what to do with my men? You mean, your 50 men? Why, my 350 men, of course. 
a tenth of Dagraford's population, Delancey. One in ten. That's what I've brought to this effort. And it is appreciated. But Baldur's Gate, and especially Waterdeep, have provided the majority of troops here. I'll not risk them needlessly. Hmm. Can I be of assistance here? Inaction carries its own risks. And who, pray tell, are you? Oh, yeah. Just a nobody, really. Balspawn, hero of Baldur's Gate. Oh, here are some uh, scales from a green dragon I slew. General Hather Stonehand, Torsen Cedric Delancey, allow me to present the hero of Baldur's Gate. Sup? Oh, aye. So what was that business on Borisgir Bridge about? You know how many of our people worship Lathander, Tempus? And you burn the dead lord of bloody murder ball symbol into the ground where he died. Great, that's sure to boost morale. Hey there, please, show a little decorum. The reinforcements you've brought are a welcome and much needed asset. Your presence is problematic. Many are uh, disturbed by tales of Boriskia Bridge. It would be best if you were away from the camp for a time. Hmm. You would send me from here on account of some coward's whining? What kind of commander are you? Let's go with two, though. Considering what I endured to reach this place, this isn't exactly the welcome I'd hoped for. I mean, before burning balls pattern into the bridge by accident, um, we did clear the, the siege. Everyone has a part to play here. The hero vanquished Sarabak. If they can do the same to Kalar, it's to everyone's advantage. If we've any hope of defeating the crusade, troop morale must be maintained. Your presence works against that. Cool. As it happens, there's a matter that requires attention away from here. Word has gotten round that Kalar's forces are receiving supplies via caverns beneath Dragonspear Castle. We have a rough idea where the entrance is, beyond Dead Man's Pass, as the locals like to call it. That's assuming the information we have is accurate. Torture usually gets you answers, but it doesn't always get you the truth. Torture. Tell me this is tell me this isn't true. What are we so afraid of Kayla Argent? Our own principles. Are our principles truly so weak we can stoop such vile deeds? I'm gonna say that anyway. I know it's not exactly in keeping with a neutral evil character, but no, I, th I think I think this sits where, a where Aiden would think. I'd stoop lower than that if it meant saving the life of a single soldier under my command. A noble sentiment for an unforgivable crime. Judge me if you must, Aiden, but for the Sword Coast's sake, do it after the Shining Lady's been dealt with. <laughs> Fine, let's pretend we haven't flung ourselves from the moral high ground and be about our business then. We have reason to believe Kalar Argent's top advisor, a priest named Heffernan, is quartered in Dragonspear's basement. We know very little of Heffernan. Other than he apparently has Kalar's ear. We do know that a series of caverns runs beneath the castle. We believe Kalar is channeling supplies through the tunnels rather than attempting to break our perimeter. So there is a way into the castle from below. Perfect. You want me to use the caverns beneath Dragonspear Castle, our enemy's stronghold, to break into the castle, again the stronghold of our enemy, to try and gather intelligence about Hafanan. It's a good plan, though. Our enemy has a weakness. I'll find these underground caverns, make my way into Dragonspear, and see what there is to learn of Hefanan, 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 and his wretched mistress. That is what needs doing. Will you do it? There is little I wouldn't do to see Kayla's light snuffed out for now and, and for all time. Just so we're clear, our resources are limited, and our focus must be on containing the castle. If you should get into trouble outside this camp, you'll be on your own. We simply don't have the personnel for a rescue party, no matter how valuable the person captured may be. Hmm. Before you leave, 
There's a tent near the camp entrance that belongs to a dwarf named Fossy Dug Deep. Go see her. She's been working on something you might find useful as you explore the underground river beneath Dragonspear. Okay, let's go straight there. That sounds... Oh, dossier. Infected soldiers. You are more than welcome in my sight. Any way I can help here. I am Theodosia Imartarid, but call me Dosia. Everyone else does. I'm a cleric of ill matter, with the unenviable task of running this triage camp. Oh, this is the... okay. How can I help? Sickness runs rampant in the camp. Dozens have fallen ill. We do what we can to heal them, but it isn't enough. If you can't find a cure for these people, this siege is finished. I think I heard somewhere that uh, disease kills more people in war. Going back to history, certainly. Like, it's a major, major risk factor. Do you have any knowledge of healing or components that might help? Examine our patients. Perhaps you'll discover things I have not. Okay. Let's do that. This reminds me of, of a mission in... New Vegas, full out New Vegas, where we do a similar thing. Help me. Burning up. <clears throat> so hot. I feel like I'm in the Callum Desert. Bring the, f the fever down. Keep strong, soldier. I'll find a cure for this. <clears throat> if I die. Oh, I'm not gonna read that out loud. That's sad. Help me. Let me die. I'm ready. Help me. Everything's spinning. Conserve your energy. Hyreth. I welcome you with outstretched hand. Okay. What have you got? Might be able to help. No. No healing. I am made to suffer. My pain brings me closer to the crying god. Ah, oh, ill matter. Ill matter, the broken god. The lord on the rack. The one who endures. Every racking cough brings me closer to my faith. So you truly don't, w don't wish to be healed? You wouldn't understand. Only the faithful can comprehend ill matter's wisdom and the purity that comes with perseverance. I understand we'll need every fighter we can get to defeat Kayla. You must let me heal you. No. I've, I'm have i made to suffer for ill matter's glory. You won't sway me from my faith. Very well. I'll return later. If I can think of a way to change your mind. Uh, that's interesting. And a moral quandary too. Cool. Oh, another soldier back here. Okay, what else have we got? Whoa. Easy does it. We don't want to fight you. See if we can break line of sight. Oh no, they are attacking him. Oops. Whoa, oops. Okay. That's not great. We'll show the crusade, right? Okay, so we know a bit more now. Let's talk to who was I supposed to talk to? Dosia. Where is she? Up there. We must talk about Hyreth. He's obviously ill, but he won't let me heal him because of his faith. I'm sorry, my triage is full of very sick people. I can't deal with Hyreth until I've taken care of the other patients. Well, I've examined them. What did you learn? The afflicted are running high fevers and becoming violent. Give them herbal salves to reduce their fever and bind them to their cots. Hmm. That will help a great deal. I'll make good use of this information immediately. Ill matter bless you for your aid. Hmm. 
we can't risk infecting the entire camp. The most merciful thing to do is execute these people and burn the bodies. Uh, or we can let it ride its course. Let's ask Odosia. Praying as hard as she can, all I've come up with are stories of a reclusive hermit who lives in the woods. Supposedly a druid of some power, but that's all I know. If you can find him, he might know a healing plant that could help. It's a better plan than executing them all. Okay. In the cam. Okay, so that's good. Let's talk to Jeg. Good to see you again. I hope it happened at Boss Gear. Yeah, not happy. Hmm. Steadfast. Hit points, that's really cool. Um, okay. I think we've done Simonetta Two Edged. Did you need something, young one? What is it you're doing here, if you don't mind me asking? Consulting on tactical movements and troop deployments. I've been retired for years, but my mind's still sharp. Hmm. She was a warden in the Waterdeep City Guard. I joined at 18 and served over 30 years. Three decades, you earned your retirement. Yet here you are, right in the thick of things. I don't mind helping me plan strategy. I enjoy it, actually. I won't be seeing any action myself, though. My fighting days are well behind me now. You're the one everyone's talking about. The hero of Baldur's Gate. You've seen many battles. What do you think of war? It's a terrible thing. To be avoided at all costs. Sometimes war is needed to create change in the world. Hmm. Have you heard the expression, Know your enemy? Some believe learning all you can about your foe gives you an edge, but I think it's just as important to understand the minds and motivations of those you fight beside. Why don't you talk to some of the people in the camp? Find out why they're here, what they're fighting for. Then come tell me if you've learned anything. Hmm. Okay. That's a little party here. What a bunch of pathetic babies! I've never seen a worse lot in my entire career! Troubles, vigilant. You said it. They're a daggerfoot detail. Not used to the experience and discipline we get in water deep. <laughs> Place them at the front of the unit. They'll die in the first charge, but at least they'll tire the enemy out. Will you be able to, able to put them into shape? Perhaps I should try training them for you. You're the hero of Baldur's Gate. Why not? Come talk to me when you finish drilling them and we'll see how you did. Dismissed. Okay, let's start with Deneen. You are welcome in my sight. <laughs> See that recruit over there? Kill. <laughs> let's get to it, Private. Attack one of your companions while I evaluate your technique. We're no fighter, so, you know. Always hop out of your way. Your style is similar to mine. Let me show you some techniques for getting past an enemy's guard. You can take them by surprise this way. Oh, well, this is cool. Well, dirtier? Should I fight dirtier? What if I kicked low like this and feigned, fainted off to one side? Whoa. Yep, that's how we do it. Now you're getting the idea. We don't fight for honor. We fight for our lives. We fight to win. I will, thank you. Cool. Clovista. Oh, it's a fine day for meeting new friends. Okay, you're a bit creepy. That, that's fine. That's the attitude I like to see. Should that recruit over here what you've got? Two stabs in the thighs, one in the stomach. Wait for him to fall. How was that, sir? You're doing the same thing I did when I first learned to fight. Going for the areas you can reach. Let me show you a different man. Okay, you'll be wearing your stuff on hitting armor plates. Look for injured enemies to finish off. Or combatants. Challenge combatants of your size. Now let's 
go this way. There he is. I do get fatigued pretty quickly during drills. I think I need more training. Striking upward wears you out and doesn't do much damage. Try to hit between the joints of armor and look for lightly armored opponents. Cool. The fair Tell folk him. rarely have time for small talk. Looks like he has a rapier or maybe a katana. Good morning, sir. All right. What do you have? You're fighting a mage. How am I doing, sir? You need more attention, more energy. You're fighting for your life as well as Daggerford. Whoa. Easy now. That will help greatly, I think. Thank you for your personal attention. You are welcome here. Oh, good day, sir. You seem nervous, soldier. Let's fix that right now, then. Attack a fellow recruit and show me what you've got. How did I do? You obviously have a knack for memorizing attack patterns. I always found it so easy to learn to memorize. Hmm. He's good at memorizing attack patterns. Come up with a few variant attack forms and cycle through them on the battlefield. More or less. That's right. Let's see what you can do. Whoa. How was that? Whoa, slow down, slow down there, man. You're out of control. That's better. And Hester. You are welcome in my sight. Pick one and hit them. So, sword or crossbow? Weapon seems to be broken. Attack a recruiter, I will attack you. Are you stalling, soldier? If you're frightened of combat, imagine dying in as much gory detail as you can. Once you accept the idea, you'll stop fearing it. That worked. I feel better, sir. Okay. Let's talk to the vigilant again. What a bunch of pathetic babies! I've never seen a worse lot in my entire career! They're better than they were, I'll give you that. Not amazing, but better. I appreciate you trying anyway. Who knows? You might have saved a couple of their lives. Here, take this armor. It doesn't fit any of the recruits and it might keep you alive. Chainmail. Oh, magical chainmail. The, though the dents and dull spots in this chainmail show its uses, someone has taken good care of this armor. Patches of bright new links show the armor has been carefully mended. The lack of ornamentation or gilded patterns on this suit gives it an honest look, as if this were the armor of a soldier who served well and honorably. Plus one charisma. And we're all immune to fear and morale. Okay. Cool idea, but no. We can't wear it. Messenger. For water deep. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Okay, I think we've gone and through your most of. I have many fine wares. Hmm. Warden Two Edged believes I should learn more of those who fight the Shining Lady. I'll not take much of a time, I promise. Fine. You. What made you join this coalition? I've supplied small Fleming Fist engagements before. I'm a proud citizen of Baldur's Gate. When they requested I come along, I agreed readily. What's the biggest battle you ever supplied? This is. The organization it takes yada yada. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Look, I reckon. Am I glad to see you? 
I know we've had our differences, but I need your help. Ski Silver Shields left the camp. <laughs> no great loss. It's true. <laughs> uh, well, of course she did. Why wouldn't she? The camp's the only safe, secure place in the area. Why would she do that? God. Perimeter guard said she headed in the direction of Dragonspear Castle. As far as they know, she's just another fist. Hmm. Oh yes, if Ski Ski knows that we're here, if she lets the crusade know, okay, I'll retrieve the witless cow. Try not to attract attention. If word gets out about this, well, I'd rather word not get out about this. Now go, quickly. Okay. Look, we might make the cut here because I am fairly worn out. Actually, that was quite a heavy battle at the start, and then lots and lots of talking here. Probably a bit too much. This probably should have been spread out a bit, but we're getting towards the end of the of Dragon Spear by the look of things. We're close to the castle itself. How about I make the cut here and I'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching, as always.